everyone welcome to my youtube channel my name is tabitha and today we're going to talk about the five laws of goal goal is a reserve goal is reserved for those who knows it laws and abide by them so all these ideas or lessons that are going to come out of the richest man in babylon and the purpose of me um summarizing this is for you to learn and apply to your own life and see what happened so there are five laws of gold five laws of gold if someone bite by them you can be able to create wealth and for the future so let's look at them one by one uh, if you're new to this channel subscribe for more videos we always like it to make videos on different topic and if you want to be part of our journey you are highly welcome and subscribe for more videos so so the first one is is gold comes to and in increasing quantities to any man who put one tenth to create wealth so this is going back about saving so if you are making money do you actually save something or you don't save anything you have too many expenses so if you make it a priority to save 10 percent of your income and then you will be able to create some wealth in with time so you will be able to create some wealth in time it doesn't have to be one tenth it should it could be 20 percent. it could be 40 percent, depending with individual and this income you should actually dedicate it into creating a state for your future or that of your family and the concept here is for you to hunt the income save invest and let your honey hunt more so it's just a simple concept so first of all you have to hunt and then save invest and let your honey hunt more money so this one you will create and create and it could be enough for your future and that of your family so the next the next law is about um how you put your money into work so if goal if you can save money and then now you have opportunities to invest in different um, investment that can give you back more money so this goal labor diligently and contentedly for the wise owner who find its profitable employment so you get the money you invest it in something that will be more profitable and in that case if it's more profitable and you keep reinvesting it or make it it labor for you it multiplies with time and you now create generational wealth generational wealth that can make you achieve financial independence and also that of your family number three is Goal cling to the protection of the cautious owner who invests it under the advice of the man wise in its handling. So these days there are a lot of advice out there. You find so many YouTube channels on advice on how to handle money. And um, this, some of them are misleading. Some of them can help make people go and be involved in things that will screw them up. So for you to really protect that goal or that hard hand money that you have been working for, you have to seek the advice of people who are wise in its handling. It's not just any advice from anyone, unless if those people have experience. So you need to seek wisdom first on how this thing is handled before you go in. Some people just go in and do whatever everyone is doing and then later on they recreate being involved because they never had any experience or have the advice from the right people. So preserve your goal and enjoy it. Consistent increase only if you can invest it in, in a wise way or under the advice of people who know how to handle it. That's when you will get the benefit. Number four, 
gold disappeared from people who so gold disappeared from people who invested in businesses or purpose fund which they are not familiar with just like the previous point that some people just go and invest in things that they are not familiar with so in this case they might end up losing the money and uh, this is one of the most reason why a lot of people don't invest because it seems everything seems to be a scam and then at the end of the day people don't get anything out of their investment so they would rather just spend the money spend the money and that is it without really planning for the future because of that reason because they don't want to lose anything they rather just spend it instead of losing it so invest your goal in businesses or purposes that you are familiar with thing that you are skilled in or maybe if you want to seek advice seek it from people who are experienced in handling money avoid avoid the danger of loss don't trust it to your own judgment unless you have the experience seek wisdom learn the rule on how money is handled learn the rule on how things are before you get involved the last one go flee the man who will force it to who will force it to impossible hunnings so you sometimes you just hand your money and then you go and um, follow people because you want to just increase it all of a sudden right you want to get rich quick so those schemers and strict stars and then you go and put your money there and you lose it next time you have nothing and then you will be discouraged from investing because you already lost a lot of money in those dealings so instead of doing that you have to seek wisdom first uh, seek advice from people who have experience learn before you make any investment or do not do not trust it to your own experience and desires to really get rich quick so those are like the the five goals of law so it's just a summary you can look at it anytime you want to to really to do anything so you can be guided by this law and in the hands you won't have to regret investing or losing money and that's the end of the video if if you're new to this channel subscribe for more videos and thank you for watching